Salutations, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. So, this time, we're gonna go after Shadow Man. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are wondering why I'm going through uh, each of these four stages one at a time. And that's because, well, you're still getting two bosses out of me uh, from this game, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. But, uh, <laughs> anyways, this is a uh, Shadow Man stage done again. And, uh, right from the get-go, we had a bunch of spikes all over the place, so that can instantly kill you. Now, here is where we fought Breakman in the first place, and now I actually show off what, uh, Spark Shot does. And that's all it does. It freezes enemies, you can't switch out of weapons, and after a while, it just wears off. It's kind of a pointless, uh, ability, in my opinion. That's why I kind of don't care for it. Now, here we got these things, and if you, uh, jump on those platforms, they, uh, open up and they drop you. And, uh, I wait for that thing to disappear because, yeah, that thing, uh, that makes space and everything, um, it gets very distracting to know what the world is going on, and, uh, I mean, it, it, I mean, you're looking out for the platforms in the first place, so it's not too difficult, but it's still annoying nonetheless, so... But, uh, here I just use Rush Jet because I'm not gonna deal with all those platforming. You have to be really quick, you have to jump perfectly, and... Yeah, I'm not all in for it, so... I just... <laughs> yeah. I, I ignore it, so... Now here we're getting up to, uh, the first, uh, boss here of this, uh, stage. And, uh, it's gonna be Woodman. And Woodman, he's actually weak to Needle Cannon, or you can use, a uh, Search Snake. And, for some reason, I find Woodman in this, uh, game to be a lot harder than he was in, uh, Mega Man 2. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe his leaf shield's bigger or something, I don't know what it is, but I do find him to be really hard. Now, here I use an E-Tank because, um, yeah, if I die to him, I have to start the stage all over again. That's right from the get-go. And, uh, yeah, I don't want that to happen. So I just used, uh, E-Tank to, uh, restore my health. Now here is kind of a crazy spot here, but you got those, uh, Hurling Joes there, and you got a narrow area to fight them in, so you have to slide under their, uh, thing after they, uh, chuck it, so... But, uh, now here, I switched to Magnet Missile, and I could use Top Spin here, but I figure I don't want to deal with these guys here, as, uh, Magnet Missile will just go, uh, turn sideways, and, uh, yeah, hit the enemies, so I don't have to deal with them. And I just continue along and get rid of these enemies as I go along. So, uh, there we go. Magnet Missile really helped out there. And, uh... I believe we're gonna be getting up to the next, uh, enemy soon, but, uh, there is some, uh, energy there to restore something, or, uh, any of your energy, I don't know, I just chose Magnet Missile. Now, the next person we're gonna fight here is, uh, Heat Man, and he's weak to Shadow Blade, and surprisingly, Top Spin. Now, why you wanna use Top Spin on him, I have no idea, but I use, uh, Shadow Blade, and that helps, uh, a lot better, so... And, uh, for him, I, um, for some reason, he's able to throw, uh, fire every single time he gets hit, so. But, uh, if you're close to him as he does it, you can kind of just slide out of the way and avoid getting hit, so. It's not too big of a deal, but some people can find it a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, that was the next stage. That was Shadow Man stage again. And we beat the last two bosses again, so. Here's the password, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, take care.